Hello everyone. Uh, welcome to my channel CAD Tutorials for Beginners. Today we will see the flange command in Creo Parametric Sheet Metal. So let us start with a new drawing. Select the sheet metal flange and check this and then select the millimeter newton second and then click OK. Similarly, uh, let us start with a planar provide the dimensions, let's say 300, let's say 600, click OK, and now I will select the planar, let us say 5U. So now we will see the flange command. So first we will just create one flat here. Now go to the flange command. So now there are various types of uh, flange commands, first of arc, I, arc, S shaped, open, flushed, joggle, duck, C type, Z type and the user defined. So let us first see uh, the I, I shaped flange. So just select the placement here, select the placement is uh, you can see here it is similar to the flat but you can add the continuous flange here so go to the details just select this select this you can, you can add continuous flanges here So these are the similar options available here. You can add thickness inside and outside. So just you can add. You can see here there is no bend now. So you can add the bend at the attachment edge. Here there are uh, similar options. Uh, the dimension at the outer surface of the bend, at the inner surface of the bend, and this is by default uh, the inner surface. So uh, you can see the preview here, and you can resume it. Just click OK. In this way you can add the flange. You can see here there is a uh, miter, cu miter cut is just uh, modify the dimension for the miter. So go to the miter cut. Just I will bring it to thickness so you can see here the miter cut uh, uh, available. Basically, the miter miter cut is used to bend the sheet metal to adjacent uh, to adjacent sheets in between to adjacent sheets. Okay, so just you can provide the dimensions to it. Now you can similarly you can add a relief here. I will add a rectangular one. Go to the relief. So 
So you can see here the relief is created. You can change it to rectangular or brown. And then click OK. This way you can uh, create the relief. So now we will see the different options, uh, the remaining options. I will just uh, delete this. Now go to the flange. Now select the second type that is the arc. You can see this arc flange is created here. You can uh, play with these uh, different options uh, differently. You can change the length, modify the angle. Go to flange. The third one is the S shape. So you can have this S shape flange. Similarly, you can modify the dimensions. I'll keep this as it is. The next one is the open flange. Uh, that is a 180 degree paint that is similar to the hem in Katia. So the hem is created. Let us say uh, I will create for here. You can uh, increase the radius. So this is a 180 degree bend is created with this open command that is similar to hem in Katia, which is used for interlocking the sheets. Similarly, uh, there are different options. That is a flushed. So, the flush flange is created here. The joggle command. Create the job. So you can play with these options with modifying the dimensions. Then a duct type flange. In a C shape that is a similar to the teardrop in Katia. Teardrop is uh, basically removes the sharp edges, sharp edges from the sheet. One more command that is a red type. Just add a red type flange. So in this way, uh, we can create a different types of flanges in Creo sheet metal.
so thanks for watching please like and subscribe my channel for more videos thank you